The UN High Commissioner for Refugees, Antonio Guterres, announced in a recent report that we are witnessing a paradigm change, an antique slide, and an era in which the scale of forced displacement as well as the response required is clearly dwarfing anything seen before. Increasing number of people are spending their lives in limbo. And Lebanon is a microcosm of the global crisis. Lebanon has more refugees per capita than any other country in the world. As well as the oldest population of long-term refugees, the Palestinians. About 300,000 Palestinians live in Lebanon today. 50 to 60 percent live in densely crowded and poorly served camps. For more than 60 years, Palestinians in Lebanon have been neglected and marginalized. They cannot own property and struggle with numerous restrictions and social norms that severely limit where they go to school, work, and get health care. And now, with an influx of Syrians, the situation of refugees in Lebanon is at a breaking point. By mid-2014, about 14% of the original population of Syria was outside its borders. Lebanon is home to an estimated 1.5 million of the Syrian refugees, the highest per capita number of all the countries serving as haven. Now, closing in on five years of displacement, the Syrians soon will join the Palestinians and others around the world as warehouse refugees. How can Lebanon stabilize? What is the right balance between providing emergency relief and helping refugees settle down and develop? How can we stop this terrible erosion of human potential?